all you dudes and dudettes. Mark Daniel Nelson here with Make My Music in the thick of it today and thought this was a really cool video to showcase something that's kind of frowned upon but at the same time very important in today's technology. And it was tasked upon me to do a little bit of RX and trying to maintain some bleedage on a historical album, which is Joni Mitchell's For the Roses album from 1972. Ken Kelly and I have been working together now for almost a decade. And today's issue was trying to find ways to make sure that in an immersive experience in Atmos, you want to hear and listen to things differently than you would traditionally in a stereo album. Usually the vocal is in the center speaker and needs to be front and center and very pure and very clean. Now in Atmos, you try to find ways to be special and clean so it's a different experience than listening to the stereo. We're trying to create something completely different, but never step in line in any way to cross over to some distraction from the original recording. My favorite track on For the Roses is Woman of Heart and Mind. And it's a very simple track with two guitars, a bass, Joni's vocal, and some percussion and a kick drum. These guys are all playing together. There's bleed in all the mics, but in her vocal mic, it has a ton of her acoustic guitar and a ton of the conga, which is this really annoying resonant frequency boop, boop, kind of sound. So I had to experiment with different plugins trying to find the best equation. And what I came up with was the Isotope RX Advanced 9 algorithm seemed to be my favorite just trying to find ways to pull out certain aspects. Right now, let's just listen to the track and discuss what we're hearing. Eight. If I solo the voice, so this is just Joni's vocal mic, and right away you can hear a ton of acoustic guitar. You think I'm like your mother or another love? You can hear the conga doing that weird. So what we're trying to do is try to find a way to collapse it down, where the two acoustic guitars, which is Joni on the left. And then the second rhythm guitar on the right. We want to make sure that those are hard out of your way so the vocal is floating. Because now, the way it is, her acoustic guitar is coming up in the center and you're losing all that spatial image, which we'll get into in a second. So let's jump into RX9 and see what we can do. Now, the first thing I like to do is load in the track that I know I'm going to try to take out for a later feature in the de bleeding mode and then her voice. If we just listen to her voice. You think I'm like your mother? You can see all this information around the audio. Now, how do we find a way to pull what we need out of it without ever stepping into the sacrilege of changing anything that was great about the original performance and the audio? The one thing I like to do is pull up the music rebalance. Now, if you see here, there are different options that you can do. You can pull the vocal up, you can pull the bass down, the drums down, and other, which is usually guitars and everything else. What I found on this song and on the other songs I've worked on in the Joni catalog so far is the other seems to be good at pulling down guitars. And instead of pulling the percussion line down in music rebalance, I print the music rebalance first with the guitar. And then I go and I hyper focus on that boop boop kind of sound from the conga on D bleed. And I'll show you that afterwards. But right now, let's just go take a preview of what we're hearing 
and slowly see how this is going to adapt. Let's pull it down slowly. You want stimulation, nothing more. That's what I You can already start hearing the guitar go, but the conga is still there. Be there for you. When your spirits start to sing. All this talk about holiness now It must be the style If you go a little too hard Latest style Is it all books and words or do you really feel It's interesting, it's almost really that double of her voice Might be the reflection of the room It's registering as a different voice almost So that's too much and you flatter you imitate the best and the rest I would say right around negative six is a good sweet spot to start to get some of that guitar out. Now, that's not really going to touch the conga yet, but I don't care about that. Even if I decide to go and use the D percussion, it doesn't pull out that frequency of the conga. Oh, the times you impress me most are the times it starts implementing this like really ringy kind of oh it just it doesn't sound correct and it certainly sounds wrong and you don't ever want to pull the listener out of the environment of course when you're dealing with historical music. I could definitely get in and start hand clicking but this is a generic approach that anyone can do. I think that's important to show that you know, listening to certain things, you have to use your ears versus just start pulling stuff all the way off. The second you start hearing stuff, start backing it off, and you'll know that you're going a little bit too far when you have your original in the session versus the RX version. And the second you start hearing things too much, you can either toggle in the original, which is what we do, or we just back it off even more. I don't want to take the guitar and conga completely out. I just want to bring it down 30 or 40 percent so the vocal has a little more space in the immersive presentation. So I'm going to stay at negative six for this and render this for right now. It's a really simple approach and it gets things done quick. Now again, you can go in and hand delete everything you need to in the spectrum. But for right now, just so anyone can try this at their home, if they want to try out this plugin, it does work really well at pulling stuff down just enough before it starts affecting the audio. Okay, now that this is processed, we can see just by undoing the amount it's taking out. I want to go into the part where it's called de-bleeding. Now, what de-bleed does, I believe, is you're finding an element in the track that is bothering you, this being the conga. And you go, okay, how do I pull out the conga? without really touching anything else and within reason just a little bit because again i only probably want to take it down 30 percent before it starts affecting stuff so this kind of acts almost it reminds me of like a side chain we're using a key which is the conga track as the profile it's what you're going to learn or teach it to understand okay this is what we want to take out slowly so when i pull in the conga track I ask it to learn itself, the profile, and then we're going to listen to how it's going to process that. It's really simple. It's easy. And by applying two steps like the guitar first and then the percussive part second, because I have full control over that, it works pretty good. And you can experiment. Okay, now that this is processed, we can take a quick preview of the track and just listen to see what we're doing and dealing with. You come to me like a little boy And I give you my scorn and my praise You think I'm like your mother Or another lover or your sister Once you feel like you've got in a good center place, then you can render that track. All right, now that you have both of those processes done, I can do undo twice. And that's what we started with. After I have this process, I can export it from the app and then load it back into Pro Tools. Now, the reason why I do it in the app is because it gives me a lot more options and it keeps things very stable. I'm focusing only on the guitar and the voice and the drum. I don't care about the aspect of anything else in Pro Tools land. All I'm trying to do is make sure the vocals are cleaner. Let's pull this back into Pro Tools and take a listen to the A, B difference between 
the original vocal of hers and the RX, what we ended up with. All this talk about holiness now It must be the start of the latest style Is it all books and words? All this talk about holiness now It must be the start of the latest style Is Now again, I didn't want to take all of the bleed out. All I wanted to do was just bring it down without losing any of the artifact of her voice or S's any kind of delicacy that you get out of the voice because it is sacrilege to go in and start messing with these old recordings. All this talk about holiness now it must be the start of the latest style And listen how much cleaner and safe it is to have it in its own space. All this talk about holiness now must be the start of the latest style. Other way. Is it all books and words, or do you really feel it? Do you really laugh? Do you really care? Is it all books and words, or do you really feel it? Do you really laugh? Do you? Really Is it all books and words, or do you really feel it? Do you really laugh? Do you really care? Do you really? So that's pretty much it, in a nutshell or whatever I usually say. It's one of those things where it seems harder than it probably really is. Isotope is probably the leader of anything RX out there. And I cannot say enough how critical it is when it comes down to the last 4%, 3% of trying to hyper-focus on quality and things that happen on the voice that gets wiped out with normal doctoring tools when you're talking about bringing stuff out or hyper-focusing. We could get really detailed and start hand analyzing and hand picking out every element with the blot. It's really difficult, takes a lot of time. So I wanted to just show you that you can literally do it with faders. If you combine different processes, it really works really, really good. Keep an open ear for the new Joni Atmos mix and thanks for watching. That felt pretty good. Yeah. How do you how did you feel? One more?